Here's an easy setup for uh, running a, a hard drive spindle motor using RC. This is an RC radio radio controller, and this is um, the motor motor controller. In this case, it's uh, an Exceed um, motor control with um, with battery battery eliminator. So it takes power. It has three outputs um, that drive the motor. This is like an RC motor. You can see it has, it, these are brushless motors, so they have three, three leads coming into them. Um, basically, the, it doesn't matter which, which leads you connect to the, in which order you connect them to the, um, to the motor control. The only thing that it does is which order they're in determines which way the motor will, will spin. So if the motor doesn't spin the way you want to, you just switch one of the leads. You just switch two of the leads, and then it'll start motoring. It'll start running. So then here's a, um, a hard drive um, spindle motor that I took out, and I've been trying to get it to work, and so it turns out that it's, it's actually pretty easy. The, the main trick is that when you look on the back, these spindle motors typically have like four connectors, but um, in this particular case, these are also brushless motors, um, that one of them, and this one here, is common um, and so if you look up, like uh, go to a website called like go brushless they'll show you in their tutorials you can see um, the wiring diagrams for brushless motors so if you use your own meter you can find out which um, which pair will have the lowest resistance so you can figure out which one's the common um, so then ignore the common one leave it unconnected and then hook three wires the three wires that go to the motor control to the to the other three, and um, it's it's called I think it's called a Y bridge, um, W Y E. Um, is the wiring diagram, and uh, so so you see all I basically I took some heart, um, some wires I attached it, um, hooked it up to the speed control, and then um, you know so then hang on. Okay, so now the the hard drive is, so the power is connected. These are this is just a 12 volt um, supply, um, and since it's uh, using remote control um, radio, it's here to to drive the motor control. I have the remote over here, and then when I spin it, so I start I just throttle up, and the motor starts spinning. It actually spins pretty much. I mean, you can see how it, the gyroscope effect makes it hard to turn. It goes on its own way. The motor turns quite fast, and it's very pretty. And so again, just to recap, there's the speed control. Um, these are um, actually quite cheap. You can get them as cheap as 14 bucks. Um, you know the the remote control on the receiver, and that's a, it's one of these um, new new ones. Uh, what's it? 2.65, 56 gigahertz rate receivers. Uh, this is the brand. Um, and then 12 volts, and and on the back you can see it's just three of them, ignoring the common. Um, this the speed control, um, the input for the speed control is pulse modulated, and um, and it can also be run by something like an Adreno. So here's an Adreno with a that I'm going to hook up next, and and use it to replace the the remote control receiver so that I can programmatically control the motor.